artist or has artist really got you inspired when you were young? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what got you really inspired to you know, I should have forgot do that. these kinds of events? I should have forgot that part of it like, that the last time. Uh, <laughs> I think you're, you're like some, your biggie. I grew up in Alex and I, 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 I listened to quite a lot of Spark Camp as well. Yeah. Very, very Alex orientated. Uh, international, your biggest malls, your main dogs. <laughs> uh, point wise, I gotta say, I'm gonna give it up to Tele. Not a fight. Where would you like to see uh, the African music industry going in the future? Uh, at this current kind of stage, it's at a, it's, a, it's at a right place, mm-hmm. you know? But people just need to start making cash out of this. To be honest with you, people, the artists need to realize they need to get paid. We get, we, we've gone the past the evolution of having the talent, pushing the talent, mm-hmm. and whatnot. Everybody now with social networks, with well, everything that we got at our fingertips, yeah. you can literally be an instant hit than that. But instant hit doesn't mean cash. Yeah, just you know means popularity. It just means popularity. And you need to understand that the music industry, you need to, you need to have a longevity in order to just have that momentum of sustaining yourself mm-hmm. out there. You know what I'm saying? Well, the other day I was speaking to one of a big artist that you know we met down the road here. We're like, Talkers at home. And this kind of thing, what we're trying to do is just maintain ourselves and making ourselves relevant in the music mm-hmm. industry. So, mm-hmm. being out there and breaking boundaries, you know, if you're in the music industry, breaking boundaries into the production. If you're a cooker, you cook. If you do whatever you do in the music yeah. industry, grow your brand. You know, it's, it's all about building the brand. So, but for those who are making quality music, grow the cash. For those who just try out there, just Quality music. <laughs> Start with quality yeah, music. Quality. Yeah, quality. <laughs> what kind of footprint would you like to leave on the music industry? How do we be the guy who just changes things? You know, at this kind of stage, we've just been sticking to the wrong stuff. Then we just do events, uh, pushing a couple of DJs out there. I want to be that guy who will become a legend out of just creating new stuff out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Breaking new events, mm-hmm. breaking new artists, coming up with a new evolution of type of music that we're trying to push out there. There's the hip hop, there's the house, everything, just, everything, just being that guy who just creates a platform of a lot of events, quality events that you know when Harold or Open House picks up, you gotta know that I gotta do that. Yeah. I, I want to be that guy just two points. So if you could manifest instantly your dream event, what would it be? I was talking to my colleague on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> we're actually looking at, we're looking at a couple of stuff. I mean, we were talking about the Tomorrowland franchise. We're talking about the comedy industry in South Africa and some of the international guys in yeah. Africa. Uh, what is the Tomorrowland franchise? The, the, the Tomorrowland franchise attracts two over 200 or 150,000 people just one set. What? Uh, that's a festival with beautiful staging. That's a setup with fireworks, <laughs> huge staging, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what has been unexpected about your whole journey? Look, I think the first thing within the first couple of months or years, I'm just going from that record shop into that events company. Yeah, that, that would be a huge change. That, 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 that became a rapid change. And the thing about it, we kept to the main reason because a lot of people know. You know when you grow a brand? Brand name. Uh, brand yeah. name. Guys, are you a record shop in the events company? Yeah. Are you an events company with a record at the end of it? Yeah, yeah. At that little tagline, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that, that, that's been just one of those things. But at the end of the day, just. Shift changing, you know, you've always been loyal to certain type of music mm. and the hip hop thing comes, you want to get into that route, and the house comes, different scene, you want to get into that route. You know, you, you kind of like bend and take and give music because of trends, what the market wants, and you always got to give, you got to stick to what you you got to keep them changing at all times. Yeah. yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who wants to promote local music? I think I, I mentioned something earlier about chasing the money, chasing the whatnot, but at the end of the day now it's all about if you want to get into the thing, just love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, because we, we're not 
We're not out there looking for the fame, the glory, the, the, the cash and whatnot. Just, first of all, enjoy what you do. But at the end of the day, it, if you enjoy it, you literally enjoy putting it together. Yeah, the whole experience. The whole experience, you know what I'm saying? So, if you enjoy putting it together, seeing the final product, the end product, and then see people either make a fuss about it or give you good props about it. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of things that, that you need to understand is that you need to enjoy every single minute, you know what I'm saying? While you add it, enjoy it, comes with a little bit of yes cash, comes with a little bit of yes glory, comes with a little bit of that. But at the end of the day, enjoying it gives you that satisfaction that Jesus, I'm that guy who's got that brand and that brand has two, three, four, five thousand people yeah. underneath what I'm wearing and doing that kind of thing. Like, I'm just having the passion to do it all the time. Well, that's why it has that heart. You, know? yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? I mean, like, that's why we've been, I mean, we, we with the in yard has been eight years, with uh, an example DJ experience has been one year. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we're kind of launching a couple of products. Yes. As I said, like the hip hop festival oh, coming okay. through. Mm -hmm. We've got something in the pipeline. It's a not to mention the name, but it's a farm festival that's coming through this year, ah. and it's going to be like a two or three day kind of epic thing. Awesome. And it's going to be like focus on just local content. Mm. You know, just kind of the, so everything is still in the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? So we just sort of a couple of things. So this year, 2015, it's going to be a pretty good. Cool Know what you're doing and love what you're doing and if you love what you're doing i believe in me it's it's gonna come with the good things yeah you know what I'm so that's for me that's why i'm trying to push 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 all the way and you see there's to just follow you know people are just after rough things like cash yes i didn't mention cash <laughs> <laughs> you want to get paid you know you want to the cash and stuff like but enjoy what you're doing enjoy the journey you only live once. You gotta do it. You only have one time to do it. The one shot. Do it properly. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> that was so cool.